Hello, in this latest video we're looking at Microsoft Stream again and some of the recent added features to it since my last video. So I'm going to dive straight in, we're going to go to the My Content section and choose Videos. We're then going to dive into the video. I'll just wait for that to load up. And then there are a couple of features to highlight there. I'm going to mute the sound on that video for the moment. Is we've got a, a transcript function, and that's giving you reasonably rather accurate uh, transcript of what's being said. So great, you can see the details there. It also allows you to jump to specific points within a video. So that could be really useful if you're using it as a, a training exercise, you want someone to review a particular part of an activity that you filmed them. So it's great you've got that function. It's also great, obviously, for those people who may have hearing difficulty in that they can see what's being said. And as I said, it's relatively accurate. But the bit I'm going to highlight today, and the bit I'm interested today, is the interactivity element. So we can click on interactivity. You can already see I've added a form. And what we've they've done is they've added an element that allows you to add forms at specific points in the timeline so as the video is being watched, up pops a form for the person to fill in. So the days of just watching a video or wheeling a video into a classroom and expecting students to be fully engaged with it are gone. Students now are used to watching telly and potentially tweeting or doing something else on their mobile device. So you really need a video resource that has an element of interactivity. And this is great for doing different forms of formative assessment just to check their understanding and means that hopefully they should more fully engage in watching the video because they realize they've got to answer questions as they go. So how do we add further interactivity? Well, we click up here, add form. We go into our Microsoft Forms. We pick up the, the relevant quiz or form that we want to use. We click share. Make sure that it's anyone with a link can respond. We're going to copy that link go back into our video, we're going to paste in our URL. I'm going to name of our form, and then we can drag the timeline to the point where we want the quiz to come up. So we've chosen 3 minute 55, and we can then add that to the timeline. Having done that, we can then share that video. So we'll just share that now and invite others. So click on the share and copy that link. We'll do a new tab. We'll paste in the new tab and you get to see what the finished icon looks like. So let's wait for that to load up. So we'll have our video and in the timeline of our video, we'll have our quizzes. So we'll just wait for that to load up. So again, we'll mute the video. We'll mute it in the player. And if I just move that forward just to before the form, it opens up the form for me. I can fill in my answers scrolling down to answer the questions, maybe rate my understanding, choose a multiple choice thing and hit submit. And then once I've submitted my response, I can continue back to my video. So I can carry on going, watch the rest of the video, and again, so we get to the form, 
up pops the other form. It's a really easy way to add some element of interactivity. So this may be checking their understanding or how confident they are at applying the technique they've just watched. Uh, and you could also have a multiple choice for them to do and hit submit. I think having just two questions in that panel means there's less scrolling that they need to do and they can continue back to the video. And for those familiar with forms, you'll get to see your responses in a spreadsheet and you also have to view them in a quick, the quick review function. So there you have it, a quick way of adding interactivity to your, to your streamed videos. If you want to look at my previous video on Microsoft Stream, click at the link in the top right corner. And if you like it, please click like and join me again for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching.